This is Joshua17SC, or Joshua Mason from With You With Me. And we set up this Kali virtual machine in VMware in the last video. In this one, we are going to show you how to set up TryHackMe. In Kali, your start menu, if you will, is up here at the top left, this dragon. And then web browser is going to open up Firefox, unless you install something else. And the site we're looking for is tryhackme.com. It looks like I'm still logged in, so I'll log out. When you first show up, you want to go to Join Now. And all it's looking for is a username, an email address, and a password. And then you pick your level, so it, I think it just fills out survey information for them. It might give you su suggestions on rooms to start with. But I'm not a robot. That's it. None of that, like, email, or personal address, or phone number, or anything like that. This is it. Just your email address. It's going to send you a verification email. You click on that and you should be set up. You come back to this login page, put in your username and password, fill out the CAPTCHA so that it works. And we're in. Fairly straightforward. There's one thing to set up. So you need access. Up here, your robot, your icon, the top right. You want to hover on that and go down to access. This site uses OpenVPN to connect. So you pick a region. There's several to choose from. There's ones in Europe. There are both sides of North America, there's Australia, and that's kind of what we got. So, pick from those whichever one is closest, and if it's a problem, then try picking another one. I think, okay. Then you're going to download your configuration file. It's going to download a file to So we're here. To your downloads folder. So let's go to downloads. And there it is. So what you're going to do is, or what I like to do, I'm going to go into documents. And I make a directory for try hack me. I'm going to go into that try hack me directory and I put my open VPN configuration there and you can take a look at it if you really want but I don't mess with it they set it up it's what it needs to be and then I make directories for challenges so you can just make dir um, new challenge 2 and then if you wanted, you could go into that new challenge too, and that's where you can put your copies of your Nmap scans. If you're doing a capture the flag, any files that they give you to download, you can put in that folder, in that directory, and later you can go back and clean up whatever you don't want. Like, I don't want this challenge one. And I don't want this new challenge one either. I want it clean. Okay. This is probably what you have. Your username dot OVPN. So it's pretty straightforward. Sudo. And then open VPN. And then your file. That's it. Those three things. Here, make this bigger. Sudo, open VPN, and your file. hit that and it is connecting and 
Finally, it'll end with initializ initialization sequence completed. So it's reaching out to try hack me and hit that little refresh there. It says we're connected and we should have 10, 6, 19, 12. This tab here is busy. It's always going to be running this open VPN service. So you got to open a new terminal or a new tab. Control Shift T does that. That's what I did. And we can check that IP address with an IPA. And we see here that we've got 10.6.19.12. So we are connected. Our tunnel zero is going through OpenVPN to the TriHackMe servers. So what we can do with that, now you're in. I suggest coming in here and playing around a little bit before you start the capture the flag. There's a bunch of modules, specific training on different pieces. So if you wanted to get into some forensics or some basic exploitation, privilege escalation in shells, web fundamentals, cryptography, or Linux fundamentals. If you if some of those Linux commands were a little difficult for you, hop in this Linux fundamentals course. There's three parts that are free and they will take you through all the commands that you probably need for quite a while. Being part of the hackathon, you're going to get a month of VIP for free and I will take you through how to set that up later. That's here in your profile. Subscriptions. I've currently got a subscription that's going to run out in a month, so I need to get hacking. But for you guys, learn. And then if a module and the courses in there aren't what you're looking for right now, go to all rooms. If you want something to start with, this Advent to Cyber 2 is great. It is 25 days worth of challenges that were put together by John Hammond and Dark and Heath Adams and a few and a bunch of others and it is uh, a, a fun game around the theme of Christmas and Santa Claus and whatnot and uh, it, it's just it's pretty good. There is a Try Hack Me tutorial. It's going to show you what I just showed you. But as a as a little course. There's starting out in CyberSec if you want some more help just understanding what's going on what the career paths are great little room there's this open VPN room it's going to show you how to set up that access how to run the commands over here like I showed you that's its own room so if you forget this and you lose the video there's that room just introductory networking working on some just CCNA or you just want to understand some things, that's great. Or basic pen testing. Or this Metasploit module. It's there's ton there's hundreds of rooms. There's thirty available pages right now. So it looks like three hundred rooms available to you. This video by John Hammond. Good guy. We'll take you through most of what I showed you. Explain try hack me side a little more. Which is all cool but I want to show you what this stuff does. So a room normally looks like this. It's got some tasks that need to be completed and some information on how to complete those tasks. This one is basic penetration testing and it kind of throws you in and forces you to do some research on your own. You could watch John's walkthrough video where he does all these steps and explains them very nicely. I would make the video but he already did and he's got a better mic and camera than me so go with his video on that also don't look at my answers you don't want to spoiler alert on that one but like this room is going to take you through some brute forcing some hash cracking service enumeration and Linux enumeration and if we look at what it's asking for it says deploy the machine and connect to our network so you need your open VPN connection and then hit the deploy button and we got 15 more seconds 
when you hit that deploy button it spins up a virtual machine on TriHackMe servers and it's going to give you the IP address so you can connect directly to it. And then it says find the services exposed by the machine. You can look at I've got an idea of what to do but it, here's a hint use an nmap scan to look for the open ports. Use nmap to look for open ports. And we finally have our IP address. So I just use this little clipboard button. And I'll use this screen. Clear. So we're just going to run a straight nmap of control shift V. That guy hit V a few times. It goes really fast. Once you get a VIP subscription, mine's free. So as part of this hackathon, so love it. But now we see what ports are open. We got SSH, HTTP, some NetBIOS, SMB, and then some of these higher level ports for some fun stuff. An 8080 for HTTP proxy. Don't know what this is. There's more stuff that we could search to find out. Another neat thing. You put in the IP address because we know it's got port 80 open, so it's hosting HTTP. It says undergoing maintenance. Interesting. What is the name of the hidden directory on the web server? Enter name with a without the forward slash. So you can use dir search, dir buster, go buster to find that. If you want to know how to do that, follow John's video. But I will leave you there. That should be a good setup. Hit me up on Discord or RallyPoint, or just leave comments down below in this video. Hope to see you guys at the hackathon.